We're in Seattle, Washington, ready to bring you another great NFL matchup. And we figured to have a little rain out there today as the Broncos match up against the Seahawks. Both teams have taken the field, and let's see what happens now as we're ready for the kickoff. in to kick this one off to start the game. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. The kick sails out of the end zone. They're ready to go on offense for the first time. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Seahawks line up in a 4 3. Receives the handle. Misses. Murphy is there on the stop at the 28 yard line. Back running hard, going right through the arm tackles. Only one man back. Stepping up, gets rid of it. Look left, hits his wide receiver with a short pass. Hamilton makes the catch, but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. Third and a deuce. They'll go from the I formation. Rowing. He hits his receiver. They convert for the first down on that throw. The play. They ran the perfect play. play to get those couple of yards. First and ten. Ball on the 39 yard line. Keep the throttle down. Going to the air on first down. With the throw, incomplete as the defender knocks it away. He felt the pressure and got rid of the ball. That's what the defense has been talking about. Make this guy throw it before he's ready. It's just that little split second early that can cause an incomplete pass or even an interception. Ball on the 39-yard line. Watch your eyes. The Seahawks with a four-man front. Stratton is there for the tackle at the 44-yard line. Tough running game will make your passing attack even more effective. Ball on their own 44. Ball on the 44-yard line. Back in the backfield. With the pass, number 30 comes up to make the play at the 37-yard line. When you give him time, he'll find a receiver. Yeah, and with this guy, he doesn't throw it behind him. He doesn't throw it over their head. He throws it where they're going. First Ball on the 37-yard line. Ball on the 37-yard line. Let's turn it up, D. The Seahawks line up in a 4-3. Yeah, you see me. Off to the tailback. Drops the ball. Murphy is there for the tackle at the 28. You got to keep going to the run. You never know when there's going to be great blocking ahead of you, allowing for a big one right into the end zone. Sam, this is the eighth play of this drive. We're talking about Maria. You can't stop me. The Seahawks with a four-man front. The carry it. They'll go with a play fake. With the throw, short pass to the fullback. Tanner is there on the stop at the 34-yard line.
27 yard line is the spot they'll have to get it to to convert on this third down play. Dropping back. Throws it. And he dropped it. When it's raining like this, you have to make sure you get the ball secure. It looked like he might have taken his eye off the ball at the last second. And that had a lot to do with him losing it. They'd be looking at a very long field goal attempt, so they'll go for it here. Here comes the blitz. Gets the pass off, and the catch is made. Watch how they get it done when the pressure's on. It's fourth down. They just call a great play. They put the ball right where it needs to be to pick up that first down. Sends a man in motion. Going to the right. That is there for the tackle. His excellent positioning led to that stop behind the line of scrimmage. And he'll do that kind of thing. He's one of the smartest players at defensive end. He always seems to be in position. He uses his hands well. And he has those long arms. And that really helps him shed block. The Seahawks come out in a nickel pack. Here comes the play. This one falls incomplete. And this guy is so strong, he was able to get that pass away. Third, and this is the 13th play of this drive. Gets the pass off. And incomplete. He had plenty on that pass, but it was off target. He has to learn to take a little bit off it sometime. You don't want to try and guide it in there or put it up for grabs, but you also need to give your guy a chance to catch the ball. Here we go. This will take the lead. The try is good. And they come away with a field goal on their first drive of the game. They established some things on offense, and they got three points out of it. I'm thinking that we're going to see a lot more points out of them before this one's over. Dixon is back and ready to put this one in the air. Booming kick downfield. From the four. Seattle is trying to take the lead on this drive as they take over. Well, John, you'd figured we'd see a lot of points today with one of the top quarterbacks in the league taking on a struggling defense. Yeah, I'm worried a little about this corner's ability to keep the play in front of us. You know, not let the receivers get behind him for a big pass. The problem is the guy has a lot of different ways. He can beat you. The Broncos line up in a 4-3. The 50. Number 23 comes up to make the play at the 40-yard line. This is a great block. Watch here. He just barrels into the defender, taking him right off the turf. Now that is a textbook block right there. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 37 yard line. Split backs this time. Uses the pump with the pass. He hits his receiver. Ooh, that one will leave a well, mark. Fought for a first down against single coverage. Down. 
First Ball and on ten. the 25 yard Ball line. On the 25 yard line. Get it up. Denver comes out in a 4 3. Gets the toss to the right. Russell takes him down at the 17. Pickup of about eight on the play. They're threatening inside the 20. On the 17 yard line. Hey, watch the screen. So they're now inside the 20 and down by three. Robinson is there for the tackle at the nine yard line. That's exactly the way you want to run this play. Perfect pitch by the quarterback. The back didn't have to break stride, and they bring it downfield for a good game. First drive nine yards away from a touchdown. Let's go, boys! The Broncos with a four-man front. Keep it off to the back. Buckley is there on the stop at the four-yard line. First and goal, they can't get into the end zone. It's second and goal at the four. Danny, Danny, Danny. Watch the snap down. Throws it. He hits his receiver. Randall is there for the tackle at the one-yard line. Brown didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. It's third and goal at the one. Number 21 lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Can he get there? Touchdown. I'll tell you, they just knocked that defensive line backwards on that play. Watch it here. The offensive line explodes off the ball. The defense can't get any penetration, and the runner is in the end zone. The extra point attempt is good. That was a nice job of keeping those chains moving and avoiding costly penalty. Now they've got to see if they can keep this momentum that they have established going for the remainder of this game. That one is out of the end zone. Just about ready for the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last drive. First Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Come on! That's a hard count. You gotta have it. The Seahawks line up in a 4 3. Pressure looking for the long completion. This and one falls complete. complete. He just flicked his wrist the and the ball just took off. He just needed to take a little bit off of that one. And it could have gone for a big play. Francis was the intended receiver on that play. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Let's go. Clear. Clear. Two Only one man back. They stopped, man. Gave it off. Number 54 is there Aaron on the stop the at the 21. That takes the it up the middle for a yard or two. Third so they've dug nine. themselves into a hole here in a long third down situation. The Seahawks come out in a nickel package. There we go, dude. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. It's broken up. He has a knack for making a big play. And that was another one right there. Number 81 was his intended target. Six. 
Dixon is ready to punt this one away. Barnes looks like he's ready for the return. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 50-yard line. The Seahawks will start the drive at the 50-yard line. First and 10. Denver comes out in a 4-3. Number 19 sends a man in motion. Robinson is there on the stop at the 45. Now they got to keep going at it. They can get that defense tired and on its heels, these games will get longer and bigger as the game goes on. Four-yard gain on the play. Ball on the 45-yard line. Ball on the 45-yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Number 21, the lone setback. Number 19, with a man in motion. Blue Dan, Blue Dan. And the counter play, spins away. He's brought down behind the line for a short ball. He saw where he wanted to go with it, and before he knew it, the hole was closing up. Third move the chains on third down here. They have to get it to the 40. Gets the pass off. Incomplete pass. It was almost like the defenders were in the huddle on that series. They hit a roadblock with everything they tried. Anthony will come in now to punt it away. Terry into return. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Nothing. The Seahawks line up at a 4-3. 27 comes up to make the play at the 25 yard line. So at the end of one, the score is 7 3. Seahawks. Seattle. 7. Denver. 3. And we're ready to start the second quarter. So it's second down and 5 to go. On the 25 yard line. Yes! Oh! Stay safe now! Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Looking upfield. They'll spot this one at the 25. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 25-yard line. Watch out. The Seahawks come out in a 4-3. Throws it. Nearly intercepted. Number 54 had his hands on. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. Unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 32 yard line. The Ball Seahawks on their own 33. Start the drive at the 33 yard line. First and 10. Defense, get ready. Lock, lock. Play football. They give it to the halfback. Barnes comes up to make well, the play. The at the 39, number 21, runs it through the middle again of about six. Second, Second and four. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Broncos with a four-man front. Watch the snap now. Everything you got, watch this. Tosses it out to the right. 
23 is there on the stop at the 41. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Ball on their own 41. The Broncos come out in a 4-3. Little misdirection. Bowen is there for the tackle at the 38-yard loss. A conservative play call there as they stay on the ground but come up well short due to a fine stop by the defensive end. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 33 yard line. The Broncos will start the drive at the 33 yard line. First and ten. Let's go now. The Seahawks with a four man front. Hand off to the tailback. Fakes the handoff. With the pass, just and couldn't get that pass under control. I'll tell you, that was a tough one. When you're playing in these types of conditions, even the easy passes can be hard to hang on to. Second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. The backs are lined up in an eye. They give it to the halfback. Number 54 is there for the tackle at the 38. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Seahawks come out on a 4-3. Murphy stops him dead at the 39-yard line. The third down run comes up short, so we should see a punt here. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. the 21 yard line Barnes with some good moves and gets good yardage bringing it back to the 32 yard line the ball on their own 32 number 21 lines up behind his fullback in the eye throws it from the wide receiver, Johnny has a great touch. Now you say, what's his strength? What does he do best? Well, you can see it right there. It's his accuracy that puts this guy on a whole nother level. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Hey, watch that three! Denver comes out on a 4-3. Might have been early Denver movement up front. Don't start on the offense. Number 77. Still Small first flag for the false start. False starts are kind of frustrating because they're really easily avoided by just maintaining focus. First so after the penalty, it's now first and 15. Number 21, the lone back. It's rid of it. This pass is incomplete. He appeared to feel the pressure there. So many passing attacks in the NFL rely on timing. When you can put pressure on the passer, you never give him a chance to get into a rhythm. And you force him to throw the ball before he wants to. Second and 15. Ball on the 42-yard line. Play hard and fast, baby. You turning it up. The defense lines up in the nickel. Under pressure with the throw. The defender's got it. The 40, the 30, the 20. The 10. Dives. Touchdown. Look at this one. He makes a great play in the ball, and he gets himself in perfect position to come away with the interception.
The point after is good. Here's a situation where the offense can make this negative a positive. The defense will probably be looking to jump another path. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a stop and go route with a good pump fake. And maybe they'll get a quick score of their own. Dixon will be kicking off. He got all of it. The defense picked off a pass there last time out and returned it for six points. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Then goes with a four-man front on the ground. Closing in. Wrapped up. The defensive coordinator teaches his guys to be very aggressive out there on defense. He has a lot of confidence in his cornerback. And he's willing to leave them out there in single coverage on an island. So they'll blitz on just about any down looking for a big play. Now they're looking at second and long after the set. The Broncos with a four-man front. Barnes is there for the tackle at the 21-yard line. Number 21 picks up some tough yards there. Third and nine. Ball on the 21-yard line. Number 19 with split backs. Rolls right. Throws it. This pass is incomplete. A little bit long, overthrowing the receiver. That might have had something to do with his follow-through. If you release the pass just a little late, you're going to see underthrows or balls thrown into the ground. If you release it too early, then you'll see an overthrow like that. Offense couldn't get it done, and they'll line up to punt. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 50-yard line. First Ball at 10. about midfield. Ball on the 50-yard line. Back it up, baby. Watch the play. The Seahawks with a four-man front. And off to the tailback. Murphy comes up to make the play at the 45. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Second and five. Ball on the 45-yard line. Regular. Hey, watch the ball. Back, the lone back. Everything you got. You got to believe it. It's all day. It's all the halfback Murphy is there on the stop at the 42 yard line running the ball consistently is the first step in creating a balanced attack to move the chains on third down here they have to get it to the 40 yard line and off to the tailback Number 27 is there for the tackle at the 35. The running back finds his way into the open field and picks up the first down. And what happened was they missed him with the blitz. And when they did that, there were no linebackers to converge. And that's how he first got by the first down mark. All on the 35-yard line. It's a blitz. Stepping up, throws it, drops the interception. And the coverage on the play. Two-minute warning coming up. On the chain, chain. Bring it up, bring it up. All day, baby, come on. Give me going. Play the counterplay. Big opening. The 20. The 10. 5. He's in for this. Takes the handoff and runs it all the way in for a touchdown. This guy is a lot of fun to watch.
They'll get set for the extra point. The point after is good. Now they've put it together offensively with 14 unanswered points. And they can do this sort of thing. Everyone gets on the same page, and they'll put up points in bunches. This one is taken by Barnes. The defense forced a punt the last time after three plays. Almost at the two minute mark now. At the 20 yard line. First and 10. The Broncos with a four man front. Misdirection. Lawrence is there on the stop at the 22 yard line. Lawrence looks to be shaken up after that play, and we'll get you a report from the sideline when we get the information. Two minute warning coming up. We've reached the two minute mark. The injury sustained earlier was minor, and they expect him to return to the game after a series or two. They give it to the halfback. On comes up to make the play at the 21 yard line. They went backward on that one. And that's a very good call by the defensive coordinator. He had a good idea of what was coming, and he called the perfect play to stop. Only one man back. Pressure launches this one to the left. And he can't hang on. That was a costly drop. Anthony comes into the game for the punt. Terry is back to receive this kick. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. They'd like to add a few more points to this lead, but we'll need to do a good job with clock management. Ball on their own 43. The Seahawks with a four-man front. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it, and he ducks out of bounds at the 47-yard line. You talk about great concentration. Watch this. He's able to keep his feet in bounds, make the catch on a perfectly placed pass. but now returns to the game. Dots back in the shotgun. Blitz is coming. Dragged down from behind. I really like the way these guys get after the quarterback. They have a bunch of effort guys out there that have nonstop motors. They push to the inside, they rush to the outside, and they really do a good job applying pressure, forcing the quarterback to throw it before he wants to. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away. Uh -oh. 
from the 15-yard line. It appears they've gotten someone for holding on the play. Holding on the receiving team, number 49. Penalties and takeaways can really kill a team. Usually the team with the fewest mistakes out there will win the game. Deep in their own territory. Denver lines up in a 4 3. Brady won. The motion man. Hand off to the tailback. McGee is there for the tackle. They'll have to move the ball downfield quickly through the air to try to score before the half. Ball on their own 23. Denver using three linebackers. With the pass, the wide receiver has it. He just unloaded on it. He read the defense well, came back to his left, and completes it for a first down. Ball on their own 25. Ball on the 25 yard line. Denver comes out in a 4 3. Pass play here on first down. Under pressure, gets the pass off, right on target to the wide receiver. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Seattle. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball. And it's six points. The extra point attempt is good. Hey, as an offensive coach in this league, you're always making adjustments. And hopefully you can get the defense on its heels and get it in there for the touchdown. Good job by these guys. Shown why he's such a threat on the ground, he gets closer to a hundred yards rushing. Second, Second and seven. seven. Ball on the 25 yard line. Bring it up, bring it up. The Seahawks line up in a 4 3. On the team, team. So after the first two quarters of play, the score is 17 14. Broncos. 17. The Seahawks. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. Dixon will be kicking off. off to start the second half. Barnes, back he got all of that one. That one is out of the end zone. The Seattle will try to push this one all the way down the field for the lead. Ball 
ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Watch your eyes. From the start, from the start. Denver goes with a four man front. Going to the right. Russell is there on the stop. You know, Johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play. He's all about effort. His motor's always running at 100%, and he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly. Ball on their own 19. Ball on the 19 yard line. Dropping back. Closing in. Throwing. And the catch is made. Late. 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 Makes the catch. It goes three for about yards three yards. That'll bring up third down. Third, it's third down seven. and seven to go. Ball on the 23 yard line. Defense, get ready. The Seahawks come out with three receivers tight. With the throw, the receiver with a lot of open room. Can't get it from behind. He's clearly one of the most dangerous receivers out there. Yeah, he has ability to break a game open anytime he gets a ball. But the thing that really sets him apart is what he does after he has possession. He has good speed and great balance. And that's a tough combination when you're back there trying to run him down in the secondary. Ball on their own 48. Ball on the 48 yard line. The Broncos line up at a 4 3. It's on the ground. The Broncos scoop it up. I don't know if he ever had a tuck away and protect it. As a ball carrier, you have to know that these guys are going to try and strip it every chance they get on days like this. So you got to do a good job protecting the ball when you see or you feel that contact coming. First ball right around midfield. Ball on the 50-yard line. Left, left. Let's go, boys. The Broncos line up in trips punch. Wooden is there on the stop at the 41. A solid running game starts with a blocking of the offensive line. But the ball carrier must have good vision so he can take advantage of the holes that they open up. Ball on the 41 yard line. Ball on the 41 yard line. Blue down, blue down. The Seahawks come out in a nickel package. Everything you got. Throwing. A little off target, but caught. Tanner. Comes up to make the play. At the 40. And it's good for a first down. First Ball on the 40-yard line. Ball on the 40-yard line. Stay at home. Let's go, B. Let's go. The hey, Seahawks go. with a four-man front. All right, here we go. Tucks it away. Play action. Throws it. This and pass is incomplete. Thomas was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Seahawks line up in a 4-3. Hey, watch the ball. Looking to run it here. Knight comes up to make the play. On the run. Beck gets One the handoff on the delay. On the brings it ahead for about a yard. Third on third eight. down, they have to get ball it to the 30, the 30 for a first. Let us dictate. Keep your eyes on. Pumps once. Stepping up. Wrapped up. Looks That's like there was a missed the assignment somewhere. The play looked like it was developing perfectly. And boom! The pass rusher got there and dragged him down. He'll try to pin them inside the 10. This one goes out of bounds. First Ball on their own 13. Ball on the 13-yard line. Here we go, baby. 
The Broncos with a four-man front, looking for the long completion. In and out of his hands. He can catch just about anything that the quarterback throws in his direction. He couldn't find a way to quiet that one down and bring it in for a catch. Number 21, the lone back. Number 19, with a man in motion. Trying something to the left. He can't bring it down in bounds. I think the quarterback just let that one get away. Number 89 was the intended receiver on that play. Broncos come out in a dime package. Let's go, let's go. The pressure, he can't escape. Buckley did a great job breaking through, getting there for the set. Yeah, it's a great play because he had to slip the blocker, then use his speed to get back to it. He just made it look simple. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. And he signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 38 yard line. Ball on the 38 yard line. Start the drive at the 38 yard line. First and 10. Nickelback in this time. He gets the cap. Knight is there on the stop. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. Gain of four. Ball on the 35 yard line. What's the hard count? I'm coming through, baby. The Seahawks with a four man front. We're going to spot this one at the 32-yard line. He stopped him there, and according to our numbers, that's tackle number six for him. So it's third down as they try to get it to at least the 28 and convert. Split backs this time. Dropping back. Pressure coming. Throws it. And this pass is complete. It's a fumble. The Seahawks pick it up. I'll tell you, they always say it. You have to come away with something when you get down inside the 20. The teams that are successful in this league almost always get some kind of points when they move down here. Maybe they only kick a field goal, but they usually get something. That's a heck of a lot better than coming away with no points at all. Everything you've got. Using split backs. He lost it. The Seahawks. At the, the offense play. recovers Recovered its own fumble. And below you can see how these two teams have done in the turnover battle. Second, Second and, and long coming up here. Ball on the 13-yard line. Denver lines up in a 4-3. He tucks it away. Vaughn is there on the well, stop at the 15. Three number 21 takes the advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Third, Third down and ten. long coming up Ball here. The Seahawks come out in the bunch for me. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. McGee is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 29. Excellent recognition by the receiver, reading the coverage and adjusting his route accordingly. Option routes are receiving routes designed to take advantage of the coverage. It's up to both the receiver and the quarterback to make the same read. The receiver reads zone, but the quarterback reads man. You can see passes going right to defender. to the halfback. 
Stiff arm keeps him at bay. Number 21. Hits the handoff on the delay. Brings it ahead for about a yard. Second and ten. Ball on the 29 yard line. Dropping back. With the throw, the wide receiver has it. Randall is there on the stop at the 37-yard line. He found a soft spot in the coverage, John. The receiver did a great job reading the coverage. He found a hole in the zone, and the quarterback found him in that hole with the pass. Third and two. Ball on the 37-yard line. Number 21, the lone back. Hands off to the tailback. McGee comes up to make the play at the 43-yard line. This is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and keeps moving forward. I tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. At the 49-yard line. It's the fourth stop he's made today. He shouldn't have much trouble reaching the 100-yard yard mark in this one. Play. Eighth play of this drive. Ball at midfield. 49-yard line. Area, area. Get me going. The Broncos come out in a dime package. Lawrence is there for the tackle at the 46-yard line. Good pickup on the ground as they convert for the first. Here's the thing. They were looking run and brought the blitz. But the back just used his vision and elusiveness to avoid him and get past the mark. Ninth play of this drive. On the 46-yard line. Keep the throttle down. And let's go one deep. Pull back handoff. Red comes up to make the play at the 41-yard line. Gain of four. Second and six coming up here. All of the 41 yard line. It's on. Let's go, let's go. Hey, watch the screen. Watch out. They give it to the halfback. Buckley is there on the stop at the 37-yard line. Number 26 with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five-yard pickup. Third down play here. They have to get it to the 36. The Broncos come out in a 4-3. Stepping up. Under pressure. Throwing. We're going to spot this one at the 27. The tackle is his fifth of the game. Great throw to beat the zone. I tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. At the end of three, the score is 17-14. Broncos. The Seahawks have the ball in field goal range. Down by three as we get set to begin the fourth. Twelfth play of this drive. Number 21, the lone back. They got nothing. Hands it off to the back. Number 57 is there on the stop at the 28. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackler. He'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. Will, Will, Will. Number 21, the lone back. Tosses it left. Robinson holds him down behind the line. I tell you, the quickest way down the field is straight ahead. Going outside, dancing around and all that stuff, that's not going to help you move the ball. The 17 yard line is where they have to go for a first. Only one man back. Closing in, going long. Jumping and has it. That was a great pass. It's going to give them the lead here in the fourth.
Dalton comes in for the extra point. The extra, the extra point, point attempt, attempt is good. good. Coming into this one, I thought it might go right down to the very end. This is where you got to dig in on defense and put the thing away. This one is taken by Terry. We've got a good one going here today. The Broncos will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. The backs are lined up in an eye. One of us will make a play. On the chain, chain. Let's go. Tempo. Let's start on the offense. Number 72. Still Dyer first down. moved a little early there. Yeah, the rule for the offensive line is once you put your hand down, you can't move until the ball snaps. So now it's first and 15 after the penalty. The Seahawks come out in a dime pack. Pressure. Good coverage downfield. Had a lot to do with that one. Drop back in zone coverage. Never giving the quarterback an option. Sather looking at second and long after the sack. The Seahawks come out in a nickel pack. Broken up. They did a nice job up front with their bull rushes and rips and stunts, forcing adjustments along the offensive line. They have to do a better job getting off the ball and controlling the line of scrimmage. But they're going to have a tough time whenever they drop back and throw. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. The Seahawks come out in a nickel pack. Dropping back, throwing. Ooh, nearly picked off. Denver cannot convert a third down today. That's the ninth time. Let me tell you, I'm seeing a team who is getting physically beat up. Give a lot of credit to the defensive coordinator for being prepared and putting his players in a position to make plays. The defense did a great job on that series, pushing them backward. Andy waves for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 35-yard line. The so they have first and ten here. At the 35-yard line. First and ten. The Broncos with a four-man front, looking for room. Fawn is there on the stop at the 22-yard line. Might be a first pass goal, but will it be five or 15 yards? Number 47. The team with the most oh, discipline is the down. team that doesn't commit stupid penalties. And they're the team that usually executes better. First down down inside the 15. On the 11 yard line. Let's go, let's go. The Broncos come out in a 4-3. Bowen. Comes up to make the play at the 11-yard line. These plays can end up with lost yards if the defense gets through or around their blocking quickly enough. They did 11 yards to get it into the end zone. They'll go from the I formation. He tucks it away. Robinson is there on the stop at the three-yard line. Picked up nine on the play. They're just three yards away from the end zone. These third downs haven't been much of an obstacle, and it's helped them take the lead. With the counter play, he's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Nothing doing on that running play, so they'll probably send in the kicker. I think so. When you've got the lead, you don't have to try anything fancy. 
You just tack on the three and put the game in your defense's hands. He shouldn't have any problems with this attempt. It's good. Seattle jumps ahead by a touchdown. Just about ready to kick this one off. Terry, back to return. He got all of it. The kickoff goes through the end zone. Four Down by a touchdown. Going on offense. Time running out. It doesn't get a whole heck of a lot better than this. First it's and first ten. and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Direction. Smith is there for the tackle at the 26. That runs it through the middle again of about six. Second and four coming up here. Dotson with split back. Tosses it left. Knight drags the ball carrier the ball down carrier. behind the line. They went the wrong way on that one. Maybe they should stick to running between the tackles because this defense has a lot of speed. And they can chase down those runs to the outside. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20-yard line. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Rose it. The pass falls incomplete. Good pressure up front forces the incompletion. You know that the defensive coordinator loves it. And he could drop additional guys back in coverage, but still get pressure on the quarterback. Dixon is ready to punt this one away. Barnes sets up to run back the punt. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 49-yard line. The ball right around will start midfield. the drive at the 49-yard line. First and ten. Number 21, the lone back. Looking to run it here. Barnes is there for the tackle at the 49. Number 21. The handoff on the delay brings it ahead for about a yard. Second and eight. Ball on the 49 yard line. the The Broncos with a four man front. Hand it off to the back. Stiff runs the defender to the ground. Russell comes up to make the play at the 39. John, two guys converged on and both missed. Yeah, it's because they got beat by a very slippery runner. But that's inexcusable for both guys to miss him after getting a clean shot. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Broncos come out in a 4-3. Terrell is there for the tackle with the at the 37-yard line, on the number play. 21. Had very little help up front, maybe a yard or two on the play. Second and eight. Ball on the 37-yard line. Hey, soft, man. Keep the throttle down. Number 19 with a man in motion. Get it up. Back. Here we go. In this direction. Comes up to make the play at the 31 yard line. He's one of those guys who can put up 100 yards week in and week out. This has been just another day at the office for him. On third down, they have to get it to the 29 yard line for a first down. Consistent success on third down, which they've had, usually translates into a win. Pull that hand off. Randall brings him down before he can reach the marker. 
Seattle fails once again to get the first down and that's seven times. Yeah and that's huge for the defense to keep stepping up on third down like that. They're a solid group of guys who make key stops. Hamilton will try to come through with the field goal here. guys who really works hard at what he does and you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one got all of it time's running out so they're going to have to score quickly I hope that the defense holds them so they have a chance to pull one out at the end First two minute ten. warning coming up don't make the play I can do it man get it started back the run. lone back Dotson no sends a man in motion The rush is on. Fires this one deep. He's there for the catch. Number 27 comes up to make the play at the 46. down throws it right receiver has it They're going to spot this one at the 35 yard line he makes his fifth stop of the game on that play they're going to go with a no huddle here they come pressure coming with the pass Jumps and he has it that's three times on this drive they've been able to pick up a first down yeah and the thing is they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues they're going to be picking up some points they're inside the 15. Watch your man. Let's go. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. They'll spot this one at the two. He's in on that stop. It's put in the tackle number six. They'll go with a hurry up offense. Watch his left now. From the start. From the start. Looks to the end zone. Incomplete. Tried going for the end zone on first down, but couldn't get it in there. It's second and goal at the two-yard line. Come on! Out of the shotgun. Dropping back. Firing a ball into the end zone. Picked off in the end zone. Big mistake by the offense. So they're ready to go on offense after the interception. They'll start at the 20 yard line. Keep the throttle down. Hand off to the tailback. Ramp is there for the tackle. I'm impressed where they're running in. It's a big part of their offense. And they've done a great job taking advantage of blocking up front. Second and six. Ball on the 24 yard line. Hey, watch the screen. Denver lines up in a 4 3. Hands it off to the back. Mark comes up to make the play at the 23. The defensive tackle stops him at the line of scrimmage. Right. 
Third Here's a look seven. at the third down success Ball rate of each team. And we can attribute this lead to their ability to convert on third down. Right, third down run, not enough to keep the one drive, one drive one alive, so the, the punting team coming in. There's nothing wrong with trying to grind it out in the fourth quarter when you're playing with a lead. Anthony will come in now to punt it away. Terry sets up, waiting for the punt. running out for them. So if they want to get back in this game, they're going to have to find a way to get into the end zone on this possession. First, First and ten. ten. Let's go, B. Let's go. Nickelback in this time. Going to the air on first down. Gets the pass off. Number 30 Terry is there the for the tackle at the 44. He's trying to hurry them back to the line. He'll stop the clock with a spike. They're running out of time and down. It's time for them to call their best play before it's too late. Third and one. Ball on the 44-yard line. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. Watch out. Let's go. Going with the pass on fourth down. Hubs going long. Incomplete pass. Unbelievable. They couldn't pick up the first after having just a, a short distance to go. And now they turn it back to the other team. Go make a play. Yes, oh. You can't stop. Still taking it. Denver calls a timeout. That's their final timeout.